Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Kempner Sports is signing, re-signing Aaron Jones, a massive mistake by the Green Bay Packers. In shocking news today, we all thought they, that Green Bay was moving on, that Aaron Jones, who had been offered a $12 million contract earlier on and had rejected it because there wasn't enough guaranteed finances and funds coming his way, Today, Adam Schefter reports that he has signed with Green Bay or is signing with Green, Green Bay. Um, massive deal, $12 million a year, four, four years, $48 million, $13 million signing bonus. Amazing, amazing, exciting news. I literally thought he was going to Miami. Uh, but every time I thought about Miami, I'm like, I guess he's going for the money because he's not going for the championship. My goodness. Were we wrong? He's he's had I don't know if you remember, but he, he has one of those Green Bay uh, necklaces. They're like um, <laughs> they're all gold and everything. Like, what are you gonna do with that now? I mean, I mean, I guess he could sell it to someone off the team. But so excited that our boy Aaron Jones, dynamic, elite, top five running back, is back with the pack. Um, did not see this coming. Thought we were just going to be rolling with A.J. Dillon, which I'm a big fan of. I think he's very similar to Derrick Henry, but he's not uh, there yet, but he has potential. Um, man, I, I, I'm blown away. I'm so pumped and excited about this signing. But the big question is, is this actually a good move by Green Bay? Because if you think about it, we're in cap salary issues. Uh, is this good? Is this a mistake? Did we, did we pull off a mistake? And maybe we did, maybe we did. I just wanna say something about, I don't know what it is about every single team that comes in and talks about, oh, we can't afford this, we can't afford that. All of a sudden they start offering people these massive contracts. We couldn't afford Aaron Jones, but we go and uh, try to get um, JJ Watt. Like how much money did we offer JJ Watt? We don't really know. I bet you it was more than $12 million a year. He ended up signing with Arizona. Timeout, by the way. You went to Arizona, bro. Like, I, I get it that you, you know, there's some community feel there, but don't you want to go to a contender? And I don't think that a JJ Watt makes you an instant contender. I think it helps your the, the Cardinals, and they have lots of potential and lots of talent there. But how did we try to get JJ Watt, but we don't have money for Lindsley and for Aaron Jones? And so today, not getting J.J. Watt means that we had enough money to sign Aaron Jones, which I am so excited about it. Listen, he's elite. He's not replaceable. He's dynamic. He's a pass-catching running back that will score us at least 12 touchdowns, if healthy, a year on the ground, in the air. He is. He makes million-dollar professional, the best in the world, defensive backs and, and, and uh, linebackers miss him completely like he's got that shiftiness the the stutter step he's got everything he's got the speed he's the kind of guy you don't want to not have on your team in saying that i do think now we lose lindsley uh that is really unfortunate pro bowl center uh o-line's important but i think the reason why we're able to do this now is because aaron Rodgers is going to be restructuring his contract um we're seeing some of that uh, do we have any more money to get another uh, free agent? The answer is no, but I bet you we end up going and getting someone. And what are we going to draft now? I believe that we're drafting O-line. We're drafting CB because I don't think we're bringing King back. And uh, we're going to be drafting a, a linebacker. I think this draft's going to be heavy on the defensive side. We might even draft a wide receiver. I'm not sure. It doesn't seem like our track record says we're drafting a wide receiver here, but we might draft one later on. Um, so is this a mistake? I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no. I know that I'm a, I'm a fan. Just stick with me for a minute. I, you can't lose a guy like this. And so I'm saying yes, it was good for our team to pick him up. Uh, keeps us as a contender. Keeps us strong. And have. I don't think Jamal Williams will be back. But I do think that we will be drafting differently now that we have Aaron 
Jones in our backfield and we don't have a lot of cap space. So we might not get another free agent and that's fine, but I'd rather have Aaron Jones and some guy off a free agency that may or may not produce. By the way, big rumor, uh, they're trying to sign Clowney in Green Bay. I don't know if that's just, it seems fake news because we missed out on J.J. Watt that all of a sudden now Clowney's the next available guy, but wouldn't it be great to have Clowney? Thank you so much for watching this. As you can tell, I'm so excited. I love it that we're getting our dynamic players because I don't think, like, it's like Devontae Adams. You cannot replace a guy like that. Aaron Jones, to me, is like that kind of level. And so, please hit the, the, the like and subscribe button. I'd love, I, I try to pump out a ton of Packer content and a ton of Canucks content if you're a hockey fan. And so, yeah, anyways, have a great day and go Pack Go!